Hi, I'm Rosh from Energy Matters. Welcome to our podcast, Road to Zero, where we dive headfirst into all things renewable. Join us as we chat with industry experts, tech specialists, and some of your favorite TV and radio personalities, asking the renewable energy questions that you want answers to. Our goal, a zero carbon future. Today, I'm absolutely stoked to be joining my good friend, um, Stephen Hill, CEO of Elite Smart Energy Solutions, also known as ESES. Stevie, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you, Rose. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Very well. Thank you for joining me this morning. No problem at all. Mate, so as I said in my introduction, you know, this podcast is really for um, tech specialists, industry experts, and uh, your favorite TV and radio personalities. And look, I don't know if you've done any radio, but you've certainly ticked the first three boxes as being an expert, industry spe- expert, tech specialist, and now a TV star. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, uh, yeah, it was great being on the uh, the open homes. Mate, good. You were, you're very, very good on it, to be fair. So uh, well done. You did exceptionally well. So Stevie, yeah, the, episodes this, the episode's this weekend, isn't it? It certainly is. It goes to air this Saturday at 4.30 p.m. So, um, you know, uh, anyone who's watching today, make sure you tune into Open Homes. And we will talk about that in a little while. Um, so uh, I've definitely got a few questions for you regarding that. But, Stevie, yeah. just to kick things off, you know, first and foremost, can you just give me a bit of background on yourself and on ESES? I mean, when did you start the business? You know, what made you choose to start it? Yeah, I've been in the uh, the energy game um, probably for about 15 years, all in all, um, since I moved over actually from London in 2007. Um, got into solar um, slowly. Um, in probably the first year was actually around uh, 2009 uh, when I was working for a, a sales and marketing company. We uh, we we were actually um, well, same sales and marketing company that you work for, uh, Roshan Smart Group. Uh, we touched on we touched. <laughs> We uh, we touched on we touched on uh, uh, solar for a little while, um, and then um, probably around that 2014 2015 mark, I actually um, started working for Energy Matters um, in its old form um, as the general manager, uh, looking after the residential and commercial sales for the business, um, and was there had a great time. Worked uh, for the business for about five years, um, and then uh, when uh, Parted ways, I decided to yeah start my own uh, renewable and energy efficiency business, which is Elite Smart Energy Solutions, which started in um, in January 2019. Um, so been going for um, over three years now. Um, started off predominantly with um, uh, residential solar, um, and uh, just had one one sales guy actually that we started with. Um, and then we sort of grew that over the over the years, um, you know. Um, and then we started getting involved with, and with the VEU, um, the Victorian Energy Upgrade Scheme. Um, so you know, it was a good. It was it complemented obviously the solar pretty well. Um, and you know, here we are today. And uh, you know, we've got a pretty big team um, here in Australia um, and overseas. Um, focusing on a lot of Victoria is probably our main sort of geo- geographical location that we're focusing on, but we also do touch in other states, especially around the solar side of things. No, good stuff. I mean, Elite seems to be going like an absolute powerhouse today. I mean, I, I, me- I remember when you first started there, and obviously, you know, you've got a great team, but really the momentum that's, that's building is phenomenal. I mean, would you say a key driver to that is just, you know, the VU program and obviously home up and, and the devices and the the, you know the different sort of solutions being offered to customers i mean you know, what's the uptake like yeah i think the the, the, I suppose the main point of differentiation between um the elite smart energy solutions and maybe your sort of your your, your average solar companies we're, we're working with sort of multiple um solar companies across the country we obviously look yeah. to find the best possible solution for the customer um, so we have a wide range of products uh, on offer, all the way from sort of your, your baseline product, all the way up to uh, you know your probably your more um, higher efficient um, you know your panel, um, and obviously dealing with uh, batteries as well. Um, but yeah, getting obviously the solar side of things has always been sort of our, I suppose our bread and butter, and that's always been obviously my main experience. But um, certainly the Victorian Energy Upgrade Scheme has played a massive part, especially in the last eighteen months. Um, around, um, you know, replacing customers' inefficient lighting, um, shower heads, 
um, putting in a small device in their home, um, which actually allows them to monitor their energy yep. uh, usage. Um, and the great thing, all of that, all of this stuff is completely free of charge for the customer. So, you know, if you, you know, what we try and do is when we're uh, meeting customers is give them that full end-to-end -end solution. So get the solar on their roof, allow them to monitor it um, and look around their house or any other sort of, um, you know, products that they've got that fall under the scheme where we can, you know, that we can replace it. It was ultimately going to save the money and, and uh, you know, bring down the carbon emissions um, and obviously help the rest of the country hit its target. Which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, fundamentally, I mean, what, and, and, and you've, you've obviously hit the nail on the head in terms of those differentiators. I mean, the a lot of the solutions I've seen you guys deliver, really, it's 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 like multiple products in, in one particular mm. home. And what's fantastic about the VU program, and that's, Victor that's Victorian state government that supports that particular program, isn't it? I mean, you know, that's just, um, you know, you're obviously reducing cu customers' electricity bills, which is fantastic, and the carbon, and as you said, the carbon sort of, you know, um, impact. And, uh, and it's really those savings off that power bill that can then assist the, the cost of solar power. Do you find a lot of people that, that take up the VU program are, um, are moving into solar as well? Yeah, look, absolutely. We, you know, we, we run certain um, campaigns whereby um, once we get the customer, um, you know, the LEDs replaced or an energy monitor, we will have a discussion with that customer um, at the time of um, the installation uh, to look at. Uh, and the great thing is we're in the house so we can um, have a, and we've got their bill so we can look at their bill and give them some sort of idea if solar is going to be a good idea for them or not. And then we obviously go back and uh, work out the best possible solution for that customer um, that's going to complement, obviously, the other products that they got in their house and present that. So, yeah, it all everything complements each other. If, it, if it, it may, you know, it might be we go in with solar to start with, and then we realise, hey, wait a minute, you've got to, you know, your shower heads could, uh, can be replaced to save money, or your LEDs can be replaced, um, or you know, this energy monitor is going to help you obviously manage your electricity. Um, or it might be, you know, the other way around where we've, you know, we've installed those products and then we've noticed, hey, you, know, you, you look like a good candidate for solar um, and have that conversation. No, beautiful stuff. Um, so just moving now so, so onto the TV show to Open Homes. Uh, before I start peppering you with questions, we're just going to quickly watch the preview for this week's episode, uh, okay. which features a, a beautiful home in Hampton, which we'll talk about uh, very shortly. On this episode of Open Homes... James is in Manly to see a home with history. In the back here is a big part of this home. It's the original shed of Mr. Taubman's. A 10-star home in Adelaide. A home packed full of personality. A modern design in Melbourne. Dave Franklin shows us through another of his spectacular landscape transformations. And this absolute showstopper in Bayside, Brisbane. Well, this is a really beautiful part of the world that I didn't really know about despite knowing Brisbane. Come with us as we step inside. There you go. So, Open Homes Australia, Stevie, you're uh, about to become a TV celeb. I mean, first and foremost, I mean, did you enjoy what you know? What did you most enjoy about being on Open Homes? Yeah, it was a, it was a really good opportunity to obviously talk about um, the uh, the different um, you know different things we've done in the house to obviously help bring down um obviously uh, ultimately bring down the the cost of energy and obviously reduce obviously the carbon emissions that we would be using so look in all in all it was a, it was a great opportunity to, to showcase the house um and show people out there that what you what you can do um and, and it's very affordable especially in conjunction with obviously installing solar using the government rebates and obviously take, making use of obviously the victorian energy upgrades program and actually getting stuff in your house with a place for free so um and it was a, and it was a lovely sunny day as well so it was know, beautiful the was shining the solar was working well uh, the battery was getting charged and uh um yeah it was just a good opportunity to as i said to showcase the house and talk a bit more in detail about how we've uh, managed to get to that point and, uh, and make it a very energy efficient house and you had some amazing technology in our home as well i mean you've got battery storage uh, but you know on the roof and i suppose the most you know notable thing to mention on there is you're using sun power which yeah, is definitely. Amazing. Oh, absolutely. 
Absolutely. So, you know, when we were, when I was deciding uh, what panel was, what inverter, what battery to put on, you know, it, you know, it's easy sometimes uh, to go, oh, let's go and you know, look at what the cheapest option is. But for me, I wanted something that was going to be, uh, that's going to last me, you know, pretty much uh, the whole time I'm living in that house and I'm not going to have any hassles. So the fact that you've got that 25 year warranty, um, some powers name speaks for itself. The panels look great on the roof. Not that you can see them, obviously walking past, but um, obviously from uh, from 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 above. And, and I think they showcase that on um, open homes. You'll get an aerial view of the panels and how cool they look. Um, and then when it came down to obviously uh, the battery, um, you know, we wanted something that was going to be um, that was going to charge um, and you know be able to you know, store the energy and use it in the evenings and have enough. So it's a very large battery. It's a 16 kilowatt battery. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's done a great job. As I said, we walked into that house, um, whatever, six years ago without any of this. And uh, my bills were about fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 per quarter. Um, wow. And now, you know, in the summer, my bills are pretty much zero. Um, and then in the winter, yeah, probably a few hundred bucks. But all in all, it's, you know, when you work it out for the year, I'm pretty much zero um you know i pretty much cancelled out my energy bill which is great you know having that sort of ultimately that energy independence to a certain degree yeah and it just it just goes to show you i mean you know utilizing and a fair play first and foremost respect to the state government over here and obviously federal government in terms of you know the stc rabex although we always want the governments to do more and they can obviously do more especially at federal but the fact is utilizing the rebates that are available to you has had you attack your bill from many, you know, many different fronts. And as you said, by you know installing the LED lighting, you know, the energy energy efficiency products, you know, you've reduced your you know your usage of consumption anyway. But then by having such a large solar system on that roof and battery technology, I mean you literally are saving thousands of dollars every single year, mm. which demonstrates on a return investment conversation, you know, you've actually made it work for you. Oh, 100 percent And also having the ability to be able to monitor um uh, the solar so i have a, a couple of different monitoring devices in the home including um the free energy monitor offered under the victorian energy efficiency scheme uh, energy upgrade scheme um and it's you know although solar does you know it does its thing it's always good to be able to track to see what where you're using the most electricity and it makes you conscious about it and makes you want to switch off your lights before you go to bed making sure that you're using the, uh, the the dishwashers at the right time of the day the tumble dryers at the right time of the day and being ultimately more conscious because the more you're conscious about it is the you know the, the less energy you're going to use and you can get rebates on your your bill rather than actually getting a bill um, that says you know 200 bucks there's been quarters where I've actually had rebates of two, three hundred dollars. And that's because we've been really, really careful and use those monitoring devices uh, to remind us of what, you know, what you need to do to to keep your energy bills low. No, that's incredible. So, Stevie, quick a couple of questions just regarding the industry as it stands right now. And really from yourself but personally, or not personally so much, but more so for Elite. I mean, what challenges are you facing at the moment as a business? Look. The good thing at the moment is customers are very there's, customers are still very very interested in in getting solar. There's there's definitely not a shortage of customers, um, you know, jumping on and and doing their research and inquiring. Um, you know, so that that's good. Um, what I suppose the biggest challenge for for my business is is actually having the uh, you know the the, the quality of, uh, of of employees that are needed to to obviously uh, to to maintain that customer service and that customer experience. We've got a, a, an amazing team here at Elite, um, but when it comes to sort of growing that team, it, it, you know certainly in the in the last eighteen months, it has been a much bigger challenge for us. Um, without having, you know, the I suppose the injection of uh, overseas uh, students, which, by the way, is improving over the last month or so. So hopefully that will, you know, move us to sort of growing the team, um, you know, in in the in the in the near future. Um, so you know, staffing is certainly a challenge, um, and you know, always being able to keep up, your, you know, the, the customer service side of things, and that's imperative. You know, if, if you look at Elite Smart Energy Solutions. Uh, we have a uh, you know 4.7 Google rating um, with over 200 reviews, uh, for, and that for us that's that's one of the most important aspects of the business. Uh, you know we're we're helping customers uh, with a solution for their home, 
um, they're trusting us to actually come up with that the right solution that's not going to come back and bite them in years to come. So we're very, very um, conscious about that, that, those ratings and the feedback that we get. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and that's a challenge to always you know, keep the customers, keep the customers happy at all times. And, uh, you know, but we're doing a good job at it. And that's what we've just got to continue. No, fantastic work, mate. And look, obviously, you know, you know, I suppose another question I have for you just regarding the technology itself. I mean, of course, I know batteries, you're a fan of batteries, otherwise you wouldn't have them. But what are your thoughts on electric vehicles? I mean, do you think now is the right time for EVs? Do you think they're going to take off in Australia? Yeah, look, you know, I, I think we're seeing a lot more electric vehicles on the road. Um, a lot more manufacturers are making it more affordable. Um, the you know it used to be sort of yeah, just Tesla, you know BMW, but now uh, a lot of the manufacturers are coming up with some really good options. Um, so I think it's inevitable um, that w everyone will start. You know, there's probably uh, you know the, 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 there's the laggers, the people that just don't want to you know don't want to change. But like yeah. with anything, ch change takes time. And uh, what we are seeing is a, a, a you know an uptake which is sort of going upwards. And uh, I think um, the more, um, you know, the more manufacturers that get involved and the more, um, you know, people that are buying electric vehicles, it's just going to have that knock on effect, you know, like with anything, you know, and before we know it, uh, everyone will be driving around in electric vehicles. Which will be absolutely fantastic. I know, mm. I know you're, um, you're a fan of Porsche, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see a Taycan sat in your driveway at some point in the near future. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, as I said, there's a lot of manufacturers um, uh, out there. But yeah, obviously, yeah, you know, I am a bit of a, a as you know, Russian, a bit of a, a Porsche lover. But, um, you know, the electric uh, vehicle, Porsche, I've actually had a test drive. That's a great vehicle. And uh, yeah, you never know one day uh, that may be sitting in the drive. No, good man. All grander than the lead, I hope. And um, yeah, of course. <laughs> and Stevie, just on the industry itself, so for anyone looking to get, you know, to sort of go solar, or to go, um, you know, to, to take advantage of the VE programs. I mean, you know, what sort of rebates and centers are available in the areas that you install them? Yeah, so look, in Victoria, um, there's a $1,400 rebate, um, a state rebate um, for the customer, which is, um, which is, has been reducing over the years, but, um, you know, still very, very healthy. And also there's the option to actually take a further $1,400 out as an interest-free loan. Um, which the uh, which you pay back directly to the Victorian state government, uh, which is no you know ultimately um, there's not it's not a you know an official loan. You're not having to go through the you know a credit check or anything. Uh, it's it's pretty simple. You just need to qualify based on obviously your overall income and your um, um, and the value of your property. Is that um, for the batteries? So both for solar and batteries. So solar, it's uh, fourteen hundred dollars. Um, and yeah. then obviously there's a separate rebate, which is I think double the product, double um, of the awesome. uh, of the that's residential amazing. rebate, which is great. So again, yeah. that's that's it. that's getting people more involved. And obviously, there's still the the, the STC uh, federal um, injection yeah. um, that's again been reducing over the last um, over the last uh, probably five or six years. But yeah. there's still plenty of time to take advantage of that on a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system. Um, you know, you're still talking uh, you know two and a half thousand dollars um from the from the federal um stc and then obviously you've got that further fourteen hundred dollars on top for the vic rebate and then the further fourteen hundred dollars for the uh, state loan so you know that's a considerable amount compared to what other countries um, around the world are offering so it shows that australia is still obviously leaders and obviously encouraging um you know and it, 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 you know so the state state of victoria is certainly still encouraging customers to uh you know to go solar by you know throwing money at it so um which is very good and obviously for the victorian energy efficiency program as mentioned before all those products uh, are generally free of charge which is amazing i mean that, that that in itself is an incredible scheme i mean is there similar programs around the country or is it just really victoria no that there, there are similar in, in new south wales also have a, a very good program um, there's always there's a slight payment that the customer needs to pay. I think it's around thirty three dollars um, yeah. um, to have their LEDs replaced in their home. Uh, and there's actually a, a, the heat pumps. Um, there's going to be a subsidy also for heat pumps in New South Wales, which will is is, is being announced and you know pretty much will start uh, seeing some activity in that around uh, late April and May, meaning yes. customers can replace uh, their inefficient heat pumps. 
um, uh, for pretty much minimal spend. Um, and uh, across the country, uh, obviously, you've got South Australia. They also have a, a smaller scheme. We're not too involved with that ourselves. But uh, again, there's a lot of companies that are. Um, and what we, you know, we, we see this is, you know, every state is, is, is getting involved with obviously trying to do their thing. Um, uh, some more than others. Um, but as a whole, uh, customers can certainly uh, check out the, the websites and the different um, states to work out what is available and uh, how they can go about applying. No, fantastic. And, you know, really on affordability, I mean, you know, you've obviously been very clear and covered off in detail, really what sort of rebates and incentives are available and the green loan being offered by the Victorian state government, once again, helps, um, helps you know, customers with their affordability. Mm -hmm. There obviously still is a balance. If they want to go solar, there still is some excess that they need to cover. I mean, are there sort of, do you, do you guys offer sort of flexible payment options? Are there sort of different sort of payment schemes available to customers to help them with, with their affordability? Absolutely. Um, so as you said, after the rebates have been taken off, there is still um, an out of pocket for the customer. But there are um, finance companies that we work with and other companies across the country work with that make it very easy for the customers to finance that out of pocket with a very low uh, affordable uh, monthly payment. Um, and some of them um, are interest free and some of them are just a very low interest rate. Um, so customers, most companies will have a couple of options for the customer. But ultimately what we try and do um, is offset the customer's savings that they're making on their solar and try and match that to around what their payment is. So really what the ultimate goal for that customer is, is to really walk away with a solar system and not really be too much out of pocket. Um, so it's not a you know uh, an additional spend um, to their already you know um, you know you know it's not an additional spend that they're going to have to fork out for, and then yeah. once that system and that you know that small loan has been paid off, they're going to reap the full rewards of that system for a very long time, really you know for a minimum of twenty five years. You know solar systems or all solar systems are and panels and inverters are pretty good these days, and uh, they last a long time. So. Really, if you're getting your return on investment in that sort of first, you know, four or five years, it's, you know, it's pure savings thereafter. Yeah, which is absolutely fantastic. Stevie, what, what you know, moving towards the zero carbon futures, you know, in matters, we, you know, we believe in a zero carbon future and um, we're a massive stand for it. I mean, what would you say, you know, what, what small changes can people, you know, make at home to move us towards a zero carbon future? What advice would you give them? Yeah, look, as mentioned before, I think, um, you know, the being able and being conscious of what you're using with your energy and, you know, and that's something that's easy said, easier said than done. But and that's why when I mentioned earlier about this uh, small uh, monitoring device, which is free under the Victorian Energy Upgrade Scheme, um, it, 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 you can set alerts uh, that actually make you way more conscious about using things at certain times of the day. I, you'll start turning your lights off more when you see how much that's costing you. You'll start using that dishwasher at certain times of the day because you know it's more expensive than using it, uh, you know, another time of the day. So consciously, if you're if you're looking at that, you know, application each day you're going to see obviously the changes that you need to make okay so the, the app's not going to do it for you you still need to physically go and uh, make those changes but what it's doing is bringing you to, to bringing to your attention how much you're spending on energy and how you can reduce it which is one way also there are ways obviously as well of you know looking at um you know the multiple energy companies out there at the moment offering some great rates and we always say, make sure that, you know, you're looking at, you know, looking at obviously all your options um, very regularly, um, you know, because um, it's very competitive out there in the in the retail energy space. So always make sure you're looking for the for the, for the best deal. Um, but then, you know, there's, you know, around that's leaving, the, you know, making sure that we're being more conscious about, you know, um, using water, uh, you know, in, in unnecessarily, you know, and, uh, you know, um, making sure that, you know, you're, um, you know, as a boy with the water side of things, making sure you're looking into other options, which could be replacing your shower heads uh, for the you know more energy efficient. Um, so, you know, we mentioned earlier as well about the uh, the electric vehicles. You know, something that to consider when you're looking at buying your next car. Absolutely. Um, 
look at what the option is for electric vehicle because I think I believe there is a subsidy as well um, um, for e uh, electric vehicles. Yeah, there is not made, it, again. So you know when you're looking at that car, that can help. Um, and overall, look at obviously how much you're going to spend on the uh, you know filling up that car with fuel versus you know charging it um, with the battery that you've bought and stored energy. You know, and overall yeah. over a ten year period. That's going to save you a considerable amount of money as well. So, I mean, especially, really, especially right now with two cents or two two dollars a litre, I mean, people are spending an absolute fortune on petrol. Well, again, yeah, that that's going to really bring to light. Uh, I think um, people really sitting there going, right, okay. Well, I was thinking about buying an electric vehicle in the next two or three years, but based on the current situation with the petrol, I wouldn't be surprised if customers are now bringing forward their um their purchases and looking at obviously ways they can get on that electric vehicle um market you know for, for sooner rather than later yeah it's just now about availability isn't it i mean there's me. the still issues i uh, bless you there's still issues with um stock mm -hmm. availability with components you know from overseas and being able to put the, the you know it can, i suppose once the vehicle's built just logistics and transportation so um those yeah you mentioned you mentioned earlier about the um, what's it called the uh, the challenges. That's one thing I've got to me. That is certainly a challenge. The cost of um, you know the, the panel as inverters is certainly got a bit more expensive in recent time. Uh, but even so, it has. It's still uh, an absolutely a, a great investment, um, whatever way you look at it. You know because we were always you know we were a little bit spoiled. I think um, you know here in Australia with with solar and our return on investment. But we, our return on investment, even with the the increased prices of panels and inverters, and you know getting the stock from uh, from overseas, we're yeah. still probably one of the the, the 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 best. It's probably still one of the best investments in the world, uh, solar here in Australia. No, absolutely. So, Stevie, we're about to finish up. But I suppose the final question I always like to ask, and you know, I'm really giving you the opportunity to be as shamelessly advertorial advertorial as you want. I mean, what's really next for ESCS? I mean, what do you want? anyone watching or listening today to know about the business and what's coming up? Yeah, well, look, we are um, certainly expanding. Um, we've slowly started to get into the uh, to the SME market around the solar side of things. We're getting into the SME side of things for the uh, VU program. Uh, there's a lot going on in New South Wales for their scheme, um, which I mentioned earlier, which we're getting involved with. Uh, we've already started to grow the, the team ready for that. Um, so really sort of the main thing for us over the next uh, sort of 12 months is really uh, securing um, some, you know, some extra team members um, that are going to be able to help build that over in New South Wales um, and also, you know, ensure that we're keeping that quality side of things where it needs to be. Um, and uh, yeah, this time next year, uh, making sure that, um, you know, we've, we've improved from the, you know, from the previous January. Fantastic, man. Well, look, thank you very much for your time today and for joining me. Um, it's been awesome having you on the um, on the show. And uh, if no anyone wants, you know, definitely uh, reach out to Steve uh, directly or to his business, um, Elite Smart Energy Solutions. Um, and uh, you know, just to, you know, as you can you know, see from today, there's just a wide range of solutions available to, for you um, via Elite here in Victoria as well as soon um, New South Wales. Which is quite I would. Yeah, and I would say just on top of that, I would say if there's anyone out there who's looking to get into, you know, solar or getting into the, you know, the the the, the VU program in Victoria or the 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 efficient energy efficiency program in New South Wales, feel free to reach out. We're looking always looking for for you know new talent, um, and we'd, we'd love to talk to you. There you go. Look, we're a recruitment channel as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you later for that. <laughs> All right, good man. Alcohol will do fine. All right, thanks, Steve. <laughs> mate. We'll catch up no soon. No problem. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So before we finish up, just remember that, you know, you can get up to free three solar quotes um, through Energy Matters on our website. So uh, www.energymatters.com.au forward slash solar quotes. And the free energy bill comparison, as Steve said, there's some great offers out there with energy retailers. They change really, really frequently. You know, literally every six months, you could have a different offer at least every 12 months. So it's worth doing an energy comparison. You know, we believe every six months just to see what offers are out there. And um, look, feel free to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn pages. For, all, for now, guys, thank you very much for listening and for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time.